Hey everybody, so on today's video I want to go through how to use Coty's cross chain bridge. If you buy Coty on an exchange like Binance then you probably have either the ERC20 token or the BEP2 token. But if you want to transfer these tokens to Coty's mainnet wallet, what you will need to do is either swap your ERC20 or your BEP2 tokens for your native coins. So you cannot directly send them from Binance straight to your Coty wallet. What you will need to do first is send them through the cross chain bridge. And that is what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Okay, so the first thing you will need to do is to log into both your Coty Pay wallet and also your Binance account. So I have just logged in here to both of them. And what you will need to get first is your Coty wallet address. So if you just come into addresses on the left hand side here, and um, if it's your first time logging in, you won't have an address there. And you just, you just need to click generate address here, and this will give you an address for your wallet. Then you can just copy that address. And the next thing you will need to do is go to the Coty bridge. So there are two places that you can access the bridge. You can either access it through the wallet itself at the bridge section down here, or also you can go to bridge.coty.io. So if I just use this one here, so what I want to do is I want to swap my ERC20 tokens that I have on my Binance account and I want to send it to an actual Coty mainnet wallet. So that is the correct um, selection there. So I then have to just paste in the address that I want to receive my Coty coins to, which will be my Coty address. I've pasted that in here and just click I'm a robot and hit next. This will then give you a Ethereum address where you need to send your ERC20 tokens to. So if I just copy this address and then I come over to my Binance account and then what I need to do is I want to withdraw my coins from my Binance account. So I hit withdraw. So my coins, I just want to select my Coty here. Then I enter in my Ethereum address from the bridge so that Ethereum address is generated on the bridge and copy that in here. Then I want to select my network. So my network is going to be my ERC20 Ethereum network. And I select the amount of coins that I want to transfer. Let's say, uh, say 250. And then you want to be careful also because Ethereum at the moment, the fees are pretty expensive. So even though I wanted to transfer 250 tokens here, it's actually going to take 113 of them as a fee. So then when you hit withdraw, it will give you a little confirmation here of the address and the network that you will be using. Then you hit continue. And then it is just a matter of verifying the transaction and it will take a few minutes to go through. If you don't see it happening within a few hours, then I would definitely get on to Coty support. So their email is support at Coty.com. Here are three bits of advice for anybody who is planning to use the bridge. First, make sure to check that the bridge is open. Secondly, when you are using the bridge, make sure that you are using the correct blockchain. So if you are using the Ethereum blockchain on one side of the swap and then Binance Smart Chain on the other, it will not work. Thirdly, take down all of the details of your transaction. So if you ever have any problems, you can go straight to Cody support and you will have all of the details such as your transaction ID and your wallet address. Sometimes when you send your Coty to the bridge when it is closed, it can get stuck there for up to two weeks. So it is very important that you have all your details and can chase up with support and don't end up losing any of your Coty. So that's pretty much it for my video today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with more videos like this in the future.